Hello, I'm Tracy, and this is the Weekly Creative Collective reading for the week of January 30th, 2022. We are going to start with a major arcana to represent our overall energy for the week. energy for the week is the full card. Yay! The full card is all about new beginnings. It's about taking that leap of faith. It's about trusting in your resources and trusting in your skills and just going for it. Um, saying yes to a new opportunity, even when you fe are feeling unsure and unprepared. The Fool card says, say yes. That is a great energy to start us as our, to have as our overall energy for the week. Because as creatives, we, um, we value that energy of starting new things, even when we are not sure that we're ready for them. So what are we embracing? I'm sorry, no, that's not true. What are we discovering as we embark on this new journey this week? What are we discovering as we embark on a new journey this week? We are discovering with the King of Wands. That's very interesting. Uh, the King of Wands is a king who is very fired up. He's a king who's very action oriented. He's a king who asks, don't who asks you to show him what you are accomplishing. Show him how you are um, meeting the goals of this project. The King of Wands wants to see results. So having the King, having the King of Wands in our discover position means that as we are embarking on a new journey, we are also discovering ways in which we can document and um, have tangible evidence of our results and tangible um, evidence of what we're learning and what we're achieving and we want to uh, be able to document that we are bringing this project in on time and that we have the resources to bring this project in on time and under budget. Uh, the King of Wands asks us to discover the ways in which we are big picture thinkers. Um, ways in which we can see the details, but also see the big picture. What are we embracing this week? We're embracing the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands goes great with the King of Wands and the Fool card. Having the Ace of Wands in our embrace position means that we are not only embracing this new opportunity, we are embracing um, all of the growth and all of the challenges and all of the 
lessons that come with this new opportunity. Uh, we're embracing the Ace of Wands and discovering our king, our inner king of wands. That is an amazing combination for us this week. And how are we expanding this week with all this fire energy? We are expanding with the Ace of Cups. Two Aces, wow, this is an amazing week. Uh, so the Ace of Cups asks us to expand how we embrace this new opportunity, how we embrace it from our heart, how we embrace it from our feelings, how we embrace it mentally and emotionally. Um, sometimes when we're presented with new opportunities, we just see the financial gains of that new opportunity. The Ace of Cups is asking us to embrace it, on, embrace the new opportunity on an emotional level as well. And um, as we're expanding with this Ace of Cups, we're also going to expand the ways in which we see the benefits of these, this emotional, uh, the emotional benefits of this new opportunity. Um, we're going to expand the ways in which we emotionally show up for this new opportunity. And while we're embracing and expanding these aces this week, what are we appreciating? We are appreciating with the King of Swords. That is super duper in interesting because we are, we've got aces sandwiched by kings. That means that this is a week and we're starting this week off with the Fool card, which means we're starting this week off with the energy of uh, saying yes to new opportunities and embracing um, those new opportunities, not only from a, an action perspective, but also from an emotional perspective. And we are discovering the ways in which we document our growth and document our accomplishments in this opportunity. And we are appreciating the ways in which we communicate in this, in this opportunity. We are appreciating the ways in which we stand in our power and um, not just our verbal communication, but also our written communication and being sure that our written communication is in alignment and um, is in the same voice as how we're documenting and sharing uh, our accomplishments in this new opportunity. Um, it, that's an amazing week, everyone. Have a great week, and I will see you next time.